just a quick explanation of kerfing. Um, kerfing is when you make cuts into a board to make it able to bend at an angle, usually, usually 90 degrees because 180 is a lot of cuts, a lot of close togethers. But um, basically, you take a board and you see how it has all these cuts, but it's still together. Um, and you, you set the saw about a sixteenth away from the edge. You can see that you know some of these aren't all lined up. That's because like sometimes I started from the other end and we just did this to throw it together for the video. So um, when I got to the end I would just pull up on it and not really worry about it. But if you were doing it, you know, make sure you follow through on the cuts. But um one second. Dang it's all bright there we go. Um so yeah, you, you make a cut. Um, we didn't draw any lines for this because, like I said, we were just throwing it together, but usually, you know, you take your saw or your pencil and you draw lines every so far apart. Closer, the more easier bend, the less cut you have to make, but also you don't want to get too close where, you know, you just break out of there and whatnot. So, basically, um, once you make these cuts, this end is a little bendable because MDF is just a bunch of like fibers like it's basically like compressed sawd sawdust so will you hold this RJ? Um, so you can take the wood and bend it at pretty much a 90 degree angle I mean what more can you ask out of a piece of wood but yeah that's pretty much it just make your cuts and you can bend it there's mass involved if you actually are going to do this um, I personally do not know the math I just make a cut bend it or make a couple cuts bend it and then see how like how far I can get it to bend without like breaking or nothing and then like make another cut a couple cuts and just keep doing that till you get to where you need to be and um, if you're gonna do this on a port for a box subwoofer box then you can't just add the the port and the front wall together and expect it to bend because because you're curving it instead of making a straight corner it's gonna cut off a few inches like this right here is so many inches but if you skip that part right there you're gonna cut off you know a little distance so you actually have to measure it up and trim it afterwards unless you actually need the math but this is our ghetto redneck way so there we go